They say, money is the blood of an economy. In our daily living, we use money, both bills and coins. We use it to buy our food, to pay bills and more. But how did this system of paying and buying using a piece of paper and shaped metal start? Haven't you ever wondered how they buy their needs in the past if they don't even have a modern concept of money yet? We are here today in the Central Bank of the Philippines Money Museum where they collect, study, and preserve coins, artifacts, paper notes, and monetary items found here in the Philippines during its historical periods. So join us while we tour and discover the history of the Philippine money. This museum was inaugurated on January 3, 1999 as part of the celebration of the 50 years of the central banking in the Philippines. The museum showcases the bank's collection of currencies. It was designed to walk a visit through a number of galleries, individually dedicated to a specific historical period of the country. The museum virtually narrates the development of the Philippine economy parallel to the evolution of its currency. ngayon sa Museo ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas, makita natin dito yung iba't ibang koleksyon ng Banko Sentral ng mga pera. So yung, ang tawag dito sa English yung numismatic collection. When you say numismatics, it's the study of currency. Coins, paper money, ganon. So yung collection namin, uh, naka-arrange siya according to different historical periods ng country like the pre-Spanish era or the primitive era. Merong Spanish era, Revolutionary era, American, Philippine Republic. So magsa-start tayo dito sa primitive era. Ito yung mga sinaunang pera na ginagamit ng mga iba't ibang communities or grupo ng tao sa Asia. Yan. Ito yung cowrie shells na tinatawag. Sa Tagalog, ang tawag sa kanya, sigay. So this is the, um, uh, these are the cowrie shells. You meron siyang golden cowrie shell. They said, when you have 20 cowrie shells, you can buy a wife during that time, yes. While 40 can buy you a carabao or a cow. <laughs> so, wife is cheaper, <laughs> okay? And then the golden cowrie shell came from Thailand. The old name of Thailand was Old Siam or Siam. So, money nila yan. And then, ito naman, meron dito Katanga Cross. Uh, this came from Africa. It's also known as the wife buying cross. Yon. And then we also have the different knives from China. They are also used as money. forms of money to Philippines. Since the Philippines is naturally rich in gold, it made use of gold as primitive forms of money. Meron tayong barter rings. We all know yung barter is the exchange of goods during that time. So gumamit tayo ng barter rings. They are made of gold and then the necklace. And what's very interesting dito sa collection na to are the piloncitos. Yung piloncito is considered as the first form of coinage in the Philippines. It's made of gold. If you're going to look at it closely, makikita nyo may inscription dyan. Try mo siyang tingnan. Meron siyang inscription na nagre-resemble ng... Yung sa old uh, script, ano yan eh, yung ma, M at saka A. Ma. Sabi nila that uh, represents the word ma or ma-i. Yung Ma'i kasi, old name siya ng Philippines among Chinese traders. They used to call us Ma, Ma'i, or Sansu. 